Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to use Nuka Carousel in your React application. All the source code for this video of this example you will find in the description under the video. As you see, it's pretty popular library. It has 2800 stars on the GitHub. Also, you can check on the issues tab that Issues are opened recently, last week, and what's the most important, closed, they are closed three weeks ago, the latest one, so this library is supportable. Okay, how can we start to use it? Let's go to the description and you will see that we have install section. Let's copy this command, I use yarn. Okay. For application, I have empty client application created with the create React app. Nothing special. We have index.js. Inside we have app.js and the only app. We can open our application and as you see, only empty component. Okay. First of all, let's install Nuka Carousel, as I mentioned before. The next, we will create a new component. Let's go. Let's call it slider jazz. Slider. Inside slider jazz, it will be export const slider. and return something. Okay, what do we need? We need carousel component. Where can we get it? From this library. If you need more clear example, you always can find examples in the examples folder. Let's go to the pages, index.js, and here, as you see, we have some small example. Let's copy this code. Now we have carousel and the next we need some slides. In this sample, we have images in the array and then we output inside the carousel component with uh, some carousel props, params. Let's do the next. In the our component, we will create slides. It will be array of images. I have prepared images. They will be images from EMDB movie posters, like this one. So let's put. three images and uh, then we need carousel inside we will go through all images slides map slide it will be emg source will be slide don't forget about kim the same slide and uh, basically that's it. Also we need some props. Let's add um, uh, const uh, params. It will be array and we need to um, spread all these params. Right now we will use default params and that's it. Okay, now we need to use start using slider component. Let's go to the app.js, import slider from slider, and instead of app, let's use slider and close it. Okay, so that's it what do we need right now. Let's go to the application, refresh, and as you see, we have application, we have slider. 
I will refresh again. We have next and preview buttons. We have dots to scroll and it works out of the box. Okay, what's important as you see, images are not scalable, so we need to configure styles for these images. Let's create new file, it will be slider CSS. You can use any styles approach you prefer. Is it uh, CSS models or SCSS or custom co style components? Doesn't matter. Now we will set that EMG with 100% and uh, let's import these styles. Import slider CSS. Okay, now as you see when we resize the page, everything is resizable and works fine. The next, let's check what props do we have for this carousel. Let's go to the main page. And in case you need to customize something, here we have a list of props. First of all, we can check autoplay, maybe. Let's use this wrap around true. Wrap around it means that buttons next and pre won't be disabled when we finished. So it now in the circle. Okay. The next. As you see, you can check all the styles you have. For example, for animation, let's change animation. I want, for example, zoom. And now, when we slide, as you see, we have this zoom effect. Looks nice. But also, we can set how many images we want to show on the slide. For example, it's This one slides to show. Let's put, for example, two. And what do we have? And as you see, with this animation effect, we have two slides. In case we will put three. Not so good. Okay. Also, there is a parameter calls auto height. Adaptive height. Let's try to put it on true. And refresh the page. As you see, there is some bug. With this parameter, we don't see what we need. But when you click next or priv, everything works. So be careful with this parameter. Basically, you can remove it or change styles with the CSS. And about CSS and styles. In case we need to change these buttons because of they are out of the box and these icons, let's go to the next important part is default controls config. With these props, you can configure all style or class names for all components you need and the callback functions for example for container class name and for next button let's try to add something for example i want to put a container class name let's put the same i want want to invent something new then next button class name 
and the prev button class name as well. Okay, now when you will open inspect and check these components for buttons, for example, you will see that for this div we have new class container class name. In the class we added. Using this class you can add any styles for the component, for this specific component. And the same for the button, we have next button class, class name. So in case I want to change position of the container, we can go here and um, for example do something like it. Nope, doesn't work. We can easily position relative Do something like it and as you see you can customize it as much as you need. And the same for these icons, we have Lee and we have button. So I want for example exactly what we expect because of as you see container class name is also available for the button area for buttons we have previous and the next but as you see it's pretty easy to configure Inside this button we have SVG we need to customize. Okay, but in general now you see how it works. Also, what is important, we can show not only images, it's just a tag. For example, if it will be fragment, or I guess I guess it will be better to use some uh, div because we need some styles. Let's put for example and also as you see we have this title but we need uh, a bit more CSS so it means that you can put here any component you need Created with React or any other framework you prefer, but uh, it works fine with uh, any components, not only images. Also, as you see, we can drag it, draggable. Works not perfect because we can select image. But components works. So, as I said before, all the source code you can find in the description for this video. In case you will have any questions, just left a comment. Thank you for watching.